Hello and welcome to a new plan video. It is already the last week of the first month of 2021 and I hope that you are doing well and that you are on track with all your plans and resolutions. In this video, as usual, we will plan our week together and I will also be talking a bit about content planning, that is the planning of the content for your websites and social media. But first things first, if you have put the dates and month in your agenda, you can start with your fixed appointments. For me, this is mostly my work. I work as an apprentice in a company for graphic design. And this is one of the images I crafted last week. Step 2 is adding your occasional appointments. For some of those I do not know the time yet, but I do know that energy-wise one appointment a day is enough for me. So I can just write down the name and add the time later. The rest of the day will be for my to-do list. And that brings us to the next point, a content planner that lets you plan ahead, batch your work, avoid multitasking and note down all your creative brainwaves for later. To this calendar in the calendar, you can apply the same tips. Create habits and systems, plan them energy-wise and make them smart and or spirit. As for me, my evenings are for my sports, so everything else I have to plan in the morning and or the afternoon. I am always working on many projects, as I often feel that they kind of inspire each other. Next to my own weblog, I currently have two big projects. One is called the Fipple Flutist, for which I'm currently designing a website. The other one is Japan Fans, a flourishing community that needs some kind of input every single day. As Thursday is often my day for cleaning and tidying my home, I shall also reserve some space on that day for editing the films for Japan Fans. And Tuesdays after my work, I always like to relax by playing some music. So that might be a good day to upload some musical videos. For the smaller tasks, I designed this weekly content planner. Download link in the description below. And then there's still a big part of my life left, which is my writing. I write something every single day. I write a new blog post once a week for various websites and other online publications. And when it's published elsewhere, I will always republish it on my own website. Next to that, or oftentimes in overlap with that, I have my academic writing. I write on autism and on the historical reimagination of King Alfred and about modern takes on mythological creatures. So in my agenda I always make a list of the topics of upcoming deadlines. Usually I do this for the whole month so that I have enough time to think about it and to work on it and to go over all my notes again before I see the actual deadline popping up in my agenda. If you need more time to prepare for your deadlines, you can put these reminders two or even three months in advance. And those were my tips for this week. Hope it helps!